Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Start Adventures Series Thoughts. Okay, so this is basically going to be me talking about the jokes and episodes I like the best. So if that's not what you're interested in, just shut the video off right now. I love the character of Trenton. I think he's one of the funniest, you know, and the jokes they get about, like, you know, Christian fundies and, you know, weaponized Christianity and that, that whole thing, you know, and the bit where he throws the Jesus orang directly at Vlad and it, like, stops just short of Vlad and then returns and he's like, um, can I move one step closer? And that's just, that's pitch perfect of a joke on just, you know, the range of weaponry in video games and how that, you know, yeah. And Vlad himself is hysterical as well, of course. And Vile, you, you, can, you cannot get enough of Vile, you know, he's just, he is a 14-year-old girl trapped in a you know, vicious sorcerer's body. That That is basically what, you know, he, he is dim-witted and just, you know, I can't get enough of his drawings, you know, just, and, and how seriously he himself takes them, how he does not even a little bit realize about his skills as an artist. And Johnson's, you know, attempts to reason with him are just... Zippy. Love to hate Zippy. You know, it, it, that, that is really the... Yeah, but... And, and I love that Vile loves him. That, that is just... Because everybody else hates him. And Vile, of course, loves him. Because he is... They're on the same level. You know, they're equally stupid and useless. You know, Vile would not be where he was if he didn't have Powers and he didn't have Johnson. The, you know, I love how once, you know, once they get into the episodes that are, that take place after the first movie, you see everyone who died in the first movie in, you know, Hades. That is just excellent. And all the title cards, kind of, for, you know, the establishing shots of Hades, you know, what was it, H-E double hockey sticks and, you know, stuff like that, other people, you know, hello vision, the, but, but yeah, you know, even the trees there, you know, and yeah, all of that stuff is just, I love Scarf Karoth. It's especially in the series, you know, he's great in the second movie as well, but in the series, especially that first episode, I don't know how many times I've watched that first episode with the, the premiere of Scarf Garoth and just laughed myself. Just, yeah, it, it's just hilarious with the, you know, that's, that's, you know, he never says a word, so when he's like, you know, well, you got any references? And they do the, the sequence, you know, with the music and the Scarf Karoth choir thing, yeah. Excuse me. I love the deity, the, the god character that, you know, comes in for three episodes. And I love that it's Eglazer's voice because he created the Press Start universe, so he is god, of course, of the universe of that universe, and just the sort of, you know, what they do with the, the god character, that they instantly have people, because it is kind of the, the stereotype, the, I don't know exactly what to call it, but it's, the, there's that old thing about, if you met god, you'd have some, you know, critical questions of him, because there's, you know, there's things that you could point out that, hey, why, why isn't this better than this, you know, that, that, they do that in the Simpsons episode as well, where, you know, Treehouse of Horror, Lisa gets shrunk, and, you know, some people think she's a god, and they're like, why do bad things happen to good people, you know, and 
in this they do that as well, but it's with video game questions, you know. Why am I sometimes stuck in a wall? You know, that, that's a bug in video games, that everyone's run into that bug. Everyone who's ever played a video game for a you know, substantial amount of time, especially slightly older games, like, you know, 90s games, has experienced that at some point. And, the, you, know, you know how sometimes you can kill someone and then go back and return and they'll be alive again? What's up with that? You know, stuff like that. And how he's like, I don't know. It's just... And how he finally fixes the, you know, you know, they, they, they're, they get graphic glitches of everything suddenly, and, you know, there's still that last little bit of graphic glitch left after he's mostly fixed the problem, you know, <laughs> telling Abe Lincoln to go get a job and take off that hat. And it's like, the universe, it, it, a Nintendo cartridge, picks it up, back in and everything should be fine. Again, perfect reference, you know, and just, just such a, yeah, perfect. One of my favorite episodes is Side Quest. I think it just hits the nail exactly on the head, you know, every single little detail in that is just spot on. If, if I had to name just one favorite episode, it might be that one, or it might be that first Scarth Karoth episode, or it might be either the Christmas special or the April Fools. And I love how in the April Fools, it's just, it's such a, an ego trip for Vile, and it's, it's such unchecked ego trip. It's not even remotely plausible, and it's just how he savors this kind of evil that he's, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to destroy the, those buildings. Oh no, those are my favorite buildings. Haha, -ha, too bad. I'm, you know, I've destroyed them now. Aren't those the buildings with all those orphans in them? Afraid so. You know, just this kind of... He's, he's like that kid in... He's like a kid in a sandbox. You know, just... It's, it's that level of maturity. You know, just spot on. And it just goes further and further, and every time you think he's reached, you know, this is as far as he's gonna go, you know, he kills all the fellow villains, for example, and just, you know, right after, even after they're like clapping, and, oh, you always want a Giacomo, that's because I'm so good, you know, all this stuff, and then he kills them, and then, you know, eh, this world is getting a little boring, I'm gonna fly into the sun and eat it, and just the whole, brilliant, I love Vile. I love Peter Davies as Vile. Spot on, you know. And the Christmas special, excuse me, with such gold nuggets as five golden rings and a bat over every pit and all the permutations of the animation to that were with him with a baseball bat and with him as Batman and all this weird stuff, you know. That reminds me of that, I don't remember the agency lettering, but there's one episode where they get this guy who's like, what's up with this castle, you know? It, it is not up to regulations. And just this brilliant idea, because in video game world, in the video game, yeah, in, in video games, the castle is always full of traps, and there's always this, you know, yeah, and and so when this guy comes to inspect, it's not what you know, you can't have all these traps. It's this is not enough traps, you know, and it's just brilliant because in that world, that is what makes sense, you know. Also, love the Grand Theft Auto episode. That's another you know contender for my personal favorite episodes with the yep out oh, you know sure we never put them in jail but we do always get them to the hospital and they are out of there clean bill of health within the hour you know perfect and that thing of you know oh, once I stole a tank and you know that it blew over how does stealing a tank blow over I don't know I hid in a garage and then they were gone you know and anyway the but yeah, the the agent, you know, with the, talking about all that stuff with, you know, uh, this is 
you know, vibrating at several different dim dimensional frequencies or something like that. All this brilliant stuff because just every shot is just like, oh, I know traps like that in video games. And he's just saying, this is this is clearly not up to code, you know, just, I love that. And I love the episode where everyone wants something from Vlad and he's like, leave me alone. And he eventually just has to deal with everyone and just, you know, <laughs> one by one. And, you know, that that agent guy, he just, you know, says, you know, two steps to the left and he does, and he just dies, you know. And all this brilliant stuff with just, yeah, how, how he just handles that. Because Vlad, I love Vlad's motivation. Vlad is tired of being a bad guy. He is tired of all this torment that he has to inflict. He just wants to relax with his television shows. That's all he wants. You know, and vampires are always bugging him. Another one I love. The Castlevania thing with, you know, that, that entire episode. With just, uh, you know, oh, how did, how did you get through the maze? Well, I, f I found a compass, so you know which way was north. How is that going to help you through a maze? Ah, uh, but it has a new feature. And, yeah, that, that whole thing. And, you know, look how many times that, you know, look how many games are in this series. Obviously, it's not only every thousand years. It's probably more like every 15 minutes, you know. That might more or less cover it. I also love the bit where you finally find out, you know, <laughs> Johnson has to fight the door, you know, once in Hades and he's out after the, you know, the Dark Tome. Are you a Dark Tome or the Dark Tome? And, you know, he grabs this chainsaw assault rifle thing and, you know, just murders the crap out of it and you know they're like staring blood dripping from their faces he's like what i'm evil you know you know i, I may be a turtle but i'm still evil you know and you, you finally figure out why you know why he is in hades you know and, and that whole thing with helping while he is still evil obviously I love the Pac-Man stuff. I love Vile trying to name them and make them, or not name, yeah, yeah. I love the names for them, you know. The names are fine. And I love the, <laughs> when he tries to, you know, justify the colors, you know, they're, they're a bit colorful, sir, and he just goes through them. And when he gets to pink, he's like, oh yeah, they're a bit colorful, aren't they? You know, he, even, even he can't make that sound, you know, horrifying in any way. Excuse me. I like the stuff that is very specifically set up for the second movie near the end of the show, you know, the ripping off of Morgan's wings and that entire episode with the whole, you know, oh, does video game violence cause real life violence? You know, sort of debate handled very nicely. And, you know, Linku and Sam having, you know, a falling out kind of thing. I like that the maze they have to go through right before, you know, making it out of Hades is the Dark Maze logo. Yeah, I suppose that is more or less it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.